I learned that people can ask you to stand up and speak in a public audience. <laughs> Number two, I learned that you can learn really cool things just by hanging out and listening to what other people have to say. It's probably the best way to learn what Twitter is all about. 18, we live the fourth R. The, the way to get the most out of Twitter is actually to participate in conversations with people. So once you've lurked around for a bit, you got to post people's names and ask questions and participate in the conversation. This, is, incidentally, is my son Michael, his first soccer game. That's him on the far left in the front. Most parents would be chasing him up, but he understood the importance of building relationships, so I went on the field to the picture. <laughs> We get the news first on Twitter. Those of us that are there know that the 6 o'clock news and 11 o'clock news is not when news happens. It happens anytime, so why not hang out and find out when it's happening? People on Twitter are Mac heads. <laughs> if a gadget is about to come out, they're talking about it. Ideas and resources like uh, this office in a Chicago high school, it's painted with idea paint. And simply paint the white paint on. You can project on it, write on it with white, with white markers and erase it. This is a technology that should be in every classroom. But you only hear about it if you're listening to the conversation. <coughs> Stories matter. Whether you're telling a story of personal wedding, having a baby, or your class has done a really cool experience, telling stories is a huge part of Twitter, and that's a big part of building relationships with people. Critical piece. This is a photograph from Philadelphia. We got kicked out of the bar singing O Canada. <laughs> <laughs> but Alec and Dean and myself and Ben and uh, Zoe's there and Andy, there were more of us there. We're going back. Uh, so if you want to meet peeps in person, that's a real critical way to make sure your relationships are lasting. And surprise yourself when you carry on conversations with people you've met here and they go to a whole new level because you actually know the person. Great ideas go viral. If you do something really cool and other people want to share it, this presentation, this is a book that we wrote in a period of about an hour and a half and published it. It had 7,000 views in five days. But the reason it went viral is because people who wrote it were people on Twitter. We were smart enough to have them as co-authors and to tell other people about it, and everyone saw it. We also learned by, by doing similar things that we can do research this way. We can post a question, get people to follow directions in responding to that. Uh, this article is going to be published very soon. Um, my co-authors are both on Twitter, Ben Hazard and uh, Kathy Hibbert at the University of Western Ontario. But uh, it's really cool that you people, some of you, helped write this that's going to be published. We celebrate. This, you cannot explain this unless you experience it. Uh, the inauguration of the President of the United States, when everyone across the U.S. wanted to experience that together, awesome. When Canada beat the U.S. and all our American friends are on Twitter, golden. <laughs> you can, with other people and the right idea, do things that are just about impossible otherwise. Things like translating a document in a period of six days from Swedish into English and publishing that resource for teachers, engaging students to actually take the photos of the project. If you want to find out, search the word Creative Commons in my blog and you'll find that story. I also discovered that crazy things like taking a whole bunch of people who have different talents and abilities and putting them together, you can pull off amazing things like TEDx. And I learned small things like the people you meet actually care about you. Uh, I explained that uh, my son wanted to do things with uh, Pokemon. And this September, I got uh, this envelope from Michigan with medallions, little certificates of Pokemon. My little guy is living the charmed life because the relationships I've built are real. They really are. Professional learning communities, these are some people that connect on Twitter. Some of them are here. They're they're meeting and building things and contributing greater to the greater knowledge for everyone to benefit. And they're able to do that because the relationships, they feel like they've met the person just the other day, even though they may not have seen one another in many months. It's really incredible. You can find out if you get on there. We discovered <laughs> in the spring of 2008 that you can break Twitter. We did it by hosting live synchronous chats that uh, actually Hit, hit, like we were, we would hit. Uh, your notification, Edu chat is top ten, top nine, uh, top eight, and then all the spam started coming in, and we were people. Like, it, it was bad. It hung up. 
It didn't work, and so we sort of said goodbye to it. But it's back. We didn't break it for good. Uh, some people in my session <laughs> learned what the real meaning of the clever sheep is. Uh, really, you can lead by following other people. So if, you're, if you haven't discovered that, find the right people to follow, and other people will naturally follow you. You'll find your voice. And one of the most important things is learn to attribute. The art of the retweet, retweet is the first way to attribute. These are all the people that are in the little stories that I tried to share with you this afternoon. The yellow ones indicate people whose Creative Commons images appear in the presentation. But as much as it's about sharing, it's also about recognizing the people that do the sharing. And lastly, I'll use Ken Robinson's uh, metaphor that he shared in a talk that I saw recently. He discovered how Death Valley was actually dead and nothing, but every once in a while, it totally blooms. And to me, Twitter is that environment that waters the seeds that are spread out across this province that are people doing amazing things. And when you percolate that with water and you get something wonderful and you share it, that's, I think, what Twitter helps us do. It just proves that we are smarter than me. Those are the 20 things. Thanks very much.